Now the trade recommendations. 1.0897, I kept the buy limit of order and that got filled. And 1.0940, we can try to exit using a trailing stop once the position start making profit of 20, 25 pips. Then we can maximize the profit when they gain the level, keep the hedge order to limit the risk. <laughs> then 1.332, the buy limit order, just one pip short now. So they just to dip and fill it. Fine, you take it and keep <clears throat> 1.2190 as the hedge order to limit the risk. And they are likely to go to the top 1.23 area. Then in the case of Australian dollar, they are expected to make a dip, but they are not made the dip, they are just gaining the level. So instead of 75, 95, you can take buy position around 76, 27, five pips, <coughs> four by pips below that of the current market level. And then once they gain the level during the early part of the European session, you book profit. Later on, they will simply hold it in the case of Australian dollar. You know the commodity pairs lead the rally and lag behind. So when they are lagging behind, you will be frustrated holding the position. Instead, when they make a quick rise, quickly book profit using a trailing stop. And later on, you can focus on your own GBP. <clears throat>